All right, guys, happy Monday. Uh, I had a busy weekend. Went down to the uh, DMV area, uh, DC, Maryland, and Virginia, if you guys don't know and are not familiar with that acronym, uh, to do some business, go to the Chantilly show. Um, had a busy weekend, a lot of driving. Um, met up with a couple friends, Billy and Will, uh, who I walked the show with a bit on Saturday. Uh, that's probably my favorite part about going to card shows is walking the show with friends. It's actually uh, just a really fun time. Even if I don't really buy anything, just watch them look at stuff and talk about cards, and it's just a great, it's just a good time. Um, so on my way down, I bought a uh, a collection consisting of early to mid '70s baseball, football, and hockey, um, and I only knew of two cards in the collection when I went to go see it. And they were these. Obviously, it wasn't in this card saver with the grading and the whole thing. But Bradshaw Rookie and 70 Tops Nolan Ryan. Um, by the way, um, I think they are a little generous. I, I don't think this card is a six. This cor the corners are a little soft. Obviously, the card's very well centered. Um, but I don't know. I don't think it's X mint or X to near mint. Um, and the Bradshaw. So, uh, rifled through it uh, while I was there and found this Mike Schmidt. Again, uh, a generous seven with the rough cut. Eh. Otherwise, a really clean card. Um, but unearthed, pretty cool card. Um, and then when I sorted it Saturday night, um, you know, he had them rubber banded by team or by like type of card, like all the 72 and actions were together, all the um, multiplayer cards and leader cards were together. And as I was sorting, I found four more Terry Bradshaw rookies, which was unreal. Uh, I was pretty thrilled and surprised to see that along with the Joe Green. So I'll kind of go through the cards that I picked out uh, just at least a top load and penny sleeve. There's a lot more that I went through today. Um, just some really cool stuff. That was in there. Um, pretty clean. Nice OJ rookie. Two of those. One is a once penny sleeve, not as nice. Two Fisks. Gale Sayers. Four of these. 72 Mays. Uh, so a really fun collection. And then, um, Couple of Dan Fouts, Johnny Unitas, another Archie Manning. Uh, I think it's a second year stallback and a um, third year stallback. Steve Garvey rookies. All kinds of fun stuff. Uh, so these are pretty off center, but sharp. Um, and then the hockey stuff. But there is a whole. Uh, half a, t a 400 count box of other Hall of Famers that I've pulled out um, and I'm still going so that is a, a fun project for me um, I don't think I'll be grading anything from this collection but I, I guess you never know um, so now fast forward to the show um, was kind of on my modern rookie parallel and short print numbered kick and so that was kind of the focus, although I could not pass up this 39 play ball Carl Hubble for $35. Um, I did get a Tatis refractor and a finest green refractor number to 99 from the same dealer. That was $275. And then I got the uh, chrome set. Um, all the scratches are on the card saver. Um, and then this is a cool card, uh, the Update Refractor, number 250. Uh, this one was 300 and the variation was 150. Um, what else did I get? Um, and then the, um, oh yeah, this is a cool find. Um, this is the first card I purchased at the show. Um, this is a Wilson Franks Ted Williams blank back. Um, now when I saw the card, you know, I took my time with this, 
Billy actually helped me research that blank backs do exist. SGC has holdered them. Hoggins and Scott has sold them. Um, if you look at a loop under magnification, the print is all right in there. The color looks good. Um, obviously, it's probably a sheet cut card, so someone cut that off. But, um, uh, you know, I, I took a, I'm taking a shot on this. Um, it's, it's a cool card to have her right now. Um, it will be for sale eventually. Um, bought a Juan Marichal signed rookie card and a 69 bench for the price that I paid for those. I, I couldn't turn it down. Um, this I got for Jeremy IP TTM with his gold refractor kick. Um, and then I grabbed like a bunch of other like low end stuff. Um, from a dealer there who kind of just like puts stuff out and you just kind of rifle through it. Um, and then I bought uh, a couple of cards for myself. This really nice 39 play ball. Um, very centered, great eye, great eye appeal on this card. Um, you know, it's the one that's uh, less uh, that heavy dark black, but um, you know, all his stuff has gone up. I, I didn't see a ton of Hank there, but I did see some. Um, so that I paid three seventy five for, and this I paid two eighty four. Um, just enjoyed this one. So um, that's the show. I also had a lot of mail coming back, um, which was fun to go through. So. A lot to take in. Um, if you are not part of my Facebook group, uh, I would strongly suggest getting in it. All of this stuff that I showed from the collection will be going in there. Um, I'm actually going to be going on another vacation to Key West on Thursday, so I'll be out of town for uh, like five days. But next week, I'm going to hit the I'm going to hit the ground running with a lot of this collection stuff that I've bought. Um, some of the stuff from, you know, the modern stuff is going to get graded, um, and so is the Ted Williams. So um, you won't see that stuff in the group. But, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, was a really fun show. Um, how was the show? Uh, uh, busy on Saturday, Sunday, not so much. I think historically uh, the show is less trafficked on Sundays. Um, I think like eight autograph guests had to cancel on Sundays, so people were pretty pissed. Um and yeah, so that was that. Um, definitely some big dealers that didn't make the trip to Chantilly, which I, get, I guess I understand. Um, but you know, it's a, it was a solid show. A lot to see, modern and vintage, all sports, non-sport. Um, I think if you're in that area, I think it's a show that you kind of have to go to. Um, there was a, a very good line out the door Saturday waiting to get in. And... Um, you know, the energy in the, in the room was good. So, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.